the starting pitching for the Phillies has been fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, Aaron Nola is your blemish, unfortunately, when talking about starting pitch. Christopher, Sa- I had more confidence in Christopher Sanchez than I did in Aaron Nola and in making starts in this road trip. I had more confidence in the game to Christopher Sanchez pitching than I did Aaron Nola. And our man, Corey Simon of NBC Sports uh, Philadelphia, put together some interesting numbers here. Now, Ranger Suarez will get the start coming up in a little bit. Uh, well, Monday, it'll get the start. But Corey Simon put these numbers together. I want to give him a shout out here because it's great. Phillies 31 and 21 in games started by Wheeler, Nola, Walker, and Suarez. Going into the season, you know, we knew these guys are going to be pretty much your big uh, four of five. We weren't sure who the fifth starter was going to be. We knew Suarez was going to join the team sooner or later, and he certainly has. But now in uh, these games, in the 52 games so far this season, they are the best. When Taiwan Walker starts, he's 10 and five, followed by a nine and six in Zach Wheeler starts, five and two in Ranger Suarez starts, and the only guy that they're under 500 with, ladies and gentlemen, <gasps> seven and eight in Aaron Nola starts this season. Uh, if you're Aaron Nola, that should bother you a little bit. Now, Corey also goes on to talk about how uh, there are three and three in the game started by Matt Strom while he was a starting pitcher and not an opening pitcher or a bullpen pitcher. So that's worth throwing in there. But Taiwan Walker, he has not been good until lately. And they've won 10 of his start. They're 10 and five in games that he starts. Pretty impressive. Great run that he has been on. The only guy that I have a lot of questions about. And this is after watching Zach Wheeler. I hate to say this because it was seven. It was six scoreless innings. It was six scoreless innings from Zach Wheeler in game three against the A's six scoreless innings. And I'm watching. I'm like, I've seen Zach Wheeler pitch much better than this. This is where you do. You get a little happy. You're a little excited that you played the A's regardless of the fact that they were playing great baseball. They're playing really well going in, uh, they're coming out of that series with the Rays. I'll be if they lost the last two, whatever. This is where you're grateful you're facing a lineup like that or you're facing a lineup like the Detroit Tigers, for instance. By the way, more on that in a second for what it means for this series coming up with the Phillies against the Braves. I got a doozy for you. But watching Zach Wheeler today, I don't know. He didn't have his put-away pitches. He wasn't as crisp as he has been before. He only had four strikeouts. You could certainly make an argument he was getting squeezed a little bit. But we have seen Zach Wheeler work corners. We have seen a great snap to his curveball. We've seen the sweeper sweep very well. And we've seen, obviously, a lot better velocity on his fat. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. But we've seen more consistently a 97, maybe a 98 every once in a while, mile-per-hour fastball. That it just wasn't there today. And it hasn't been there for maybe his last two, three starts. But... What he, what you have seen over his last three starts is maybe a guy that doesn't have the velocity that he had in the beginning of the season, but he has been pretty much picture perfect in hitting his spots. Today, not as much. Game three against the A's, it wasn't there as much. So this is a classic example of a really good pitcher not having his really good stuff, but still finding a way to help the team win. And it wasn't just a matter of, oh, we only allowed three runs and you scored five or something like that. If six scoreless didn't have his best stuff, and he posted six scoreless innings, 107 pitches for Zach Wheeler today, fought tooth and nail, scratch and clawed through those six innings to help the team win, and not just help the team win, but come out at 99 pitches, okay? End of the fifth inning, he goes out there. He's got 99 pitches. Started the sixth. He started that inning with 99 pitches. Started. The sixth inning with 99 pitches. Came back out. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure if the Phillies are going to be worried about an up-down. Oh, he's had another up-down after a lot of pitches. He's probably done. No, he he got up again, and he sat down the side. He got a one pitch out in that sixth inning, and then he got out of it with a 4-6-3 double play. Again, we'll get to it in the uh, play-by-play, but it was pretty remarkable what the Phillies were able to do and what Zach Wheeler was able to do. And 